Pennsylvania Senator John Udichak has served the 14th Senatorial District for three terms. And prior to that, he served six terms in the State House of Representative. However, this time around, his name will not be on the ballot. I'm pleased to be joined by Senator John Udichak now. How difficult of a decision was this to decide not to run for re-election? It was a, a, a challenging decision. Uh, I, I've spent uh, the last 24 years having the best job in the world, and that's serving the people of Northeastern Pennsylvania. They open their homes to me. They open their hearts. Uh, they love me, and I, I love them back. Uh, it has been a childhood dream of mine to be in politics, to serve in state government, to have an opportunity to fight for Northeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, and, uh, and, and the voters of the 14th district and the voters in the 119th district gave me that opportunity to fill my, fulfill my childhood dreams. Uh, I went to work every day with the mindset that, you know, my grandfather and father, like so many uh, families uh, in, in Northeastern Pennsylvania, they went to work in the mines. They went and worked underground. And I had the honor and privilege and the blessing to work under chandeliers in, in, in the Pennsylvania House and the State Senate. So I, I tried to mirror their work ethic over the years. I tried to mirror their working class values in every vote I made and every project uh, that, that I pursued. And, and so it was the right time uh, in my mind. Uh, I am uh, I'm blessed with four beautiful daughters who are growing up, who are doing very well in school and I, I wanna dedicate myself to their next milestones. Uh, uh, they've sacrificed a lot of time over the years uh, and, and uh, I wanna pay that back to the four most important constituents in my life without question. Uh, and and all, all, almost always the toughest to win over. Uh, they're, they're, uh, they're wonderful, wonderful girls. I'm so, so blessed to have them in my life. And, uh, but no, I knew that this was the right time. I, uh, redistricting, uh, as that played out, uh, that did not necessarily play a role, uh, in my decision, uh, had 12 years in the house and was ready to move on. And the Senate seat opened up and I was able to advance my political career. 12 years, uh, in the Senate, I was ready to move on uh, to other challenges, other endeavors. Uh, and, uh, and so that is how it worked out. It's always hard to step off the stage, particularly when you love something as much as I love serving the people of Northeastern Pennsylvania, but it's the right time for me. It's the right time, uh, for my family. So what do you look back on now? I mean, what do you see as like maybe your top accomplishment that you're very proud of right now? When I first started out, and as I mentioned, my father was my mentor. He was he was my political inspiration. Uh, that's why I wanted to, to be in public life, watching him be a township supervisor and a school director. And I remember him sitting up down and said, John, you got, you got to remember, voters are hiring you to do a job. And the number one job that you have in going to Harrisburg back in 1998 is we have to get to a place where private sector, the private sector drives job growth, that we don't have to depend necessarily on government that we can have private investment, drive economic opportunities and lift the fortunes of the families here in Northeastern Pennsylvania. And last year, uh, the governor's action team uh, named Northeastern Pennsylvania, the number one job creator in all of Pennsylvania, the number one region in terms of private investment, $1.2 billion, $400 million than more than any other region in Pennsylvania, better than greater Philadelphia, better than greater uh, uh, Pittsburgh, better than central PA. It's been 150 years since the days of King Cole where Northeastern Pennsylvania could boast that they led Pennsylvania in terms of economic development, in terms of job creation and private investment. So I'm very proud. There's a lot of great groups that have made that happen. The Hazleton Chamber of Commerce can do many, many others in the I-81 quarter, local officials, uh, your local officials in Hazleton, in Hazel Township, surrounding communities in West Hazleton, Freeland, all of those great communities, all of those great community leaders that came together around a regional vision. I think that was the pivot point uh, for Northeastern Pennsylvania. It was one of the things that I have stressed from the beginning. I don't care much about political parties. Uh, I don't care much about political boundaries. We need to work together as one people. Uh, to better the lives of our community and the people we care about, our friends and neighbors and family, uh, uh, making better 
opportunities for the for the people we care about. That's what I was dedicated to over the last 24 years. I'm not going to step away from that. I'm stepping away from uh, the elected position, but I'm still going to have a very public purpose in this community, going to continue to fight for Northeastern Pennsylvania, help some of our great uh, state senators that are going to take up uh, the next stage, Senator Baker, Senator Orgel, Senator Gordner, and Senator Flynn. Uh, they're going to take Luzerne County uh, into the next decade. I'm going to work alongside them as a private citizen, trying to do my best to help the region as a community leader.